Punjab and Haryana High Court has slammed glorification of crime by all involved in a 2022 Lawrence Bishnoi interview. Two years ago, the supposedly incarcerated gangster Lawrence Bishnoi was interviewed by a private channel. In the aftermath of his gang's recent threats of actor Salman Khan and the killing of politician Baba Siddiqui, this interview has been making the rounds on several social media platforms, even though the court had ordered last December that it should not be circulated. The court today reprimanded the Punjab government for failing to follow its August 2024 order, which directed disciplinary action against senior officers who facilitated Bishnoi's interview. This interview was red flagged by the Punjab and Haryana High Court again today. The court also warned the ruling Ahmadmi Party against making scapegoats of junior officers. Expressing concern over a possible criminal conspiracy between Punjab police, seven of whom were suspended last week, and the gangster Bishnoi, the court also ordered a fresh investigation to be conducted by a three member team led by Human Rights Commissioner Chief Prabodh Kumar. The interview, the court said, was an apparent jail security breach and the extended time taken for the cops to submit the supposed inconclusive report over eight months was also flagged. A bench of Justice Anupinder Singh and Lapita Banerjee pointed out five of the seven suspended officers were of junior rank. Only two officers of Deputy Superintendent rank, Gurshir Singh and Samarwanit, were penalised and noted, quote, the police allowed the criminal to use electronic devices and provided a studio-like facility for the interview which tends to glorify crime. Involvement of senior cops suggests illegal gratification from the criminal, the court added. The court was also irritated by the copies of the interview resurfacing again. Quote, These interviews are stated to have garnered over 12 million views. It would have an adverse impact upon youngsters with impressionable minds. Punjab is a border state and any deterioration in law and order or increase in crime could affect national security. Unquote. The court noted that in the interview, Bishnoi involved in 71 cases in the state of Punjab and convicted in four cases, which includes offences under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act or UAPA, which is an anti-terror law, was justifying target killing of his criminal activities. Meanwhile, adding to the string of death threats against actor Salman Khan, an anonymous message to Mumbai traffic control today threatened that the actor would be killed unless he paid 2 crore rupees as a ransom, police sources have said. Police have registered a case against an unidentified person and the investigation is on. The case has been registered under sections relating to threats of extortion and under death threats. This comes shortly after a 20-year-old man was arrested from Noida over the death threats to the actor and Zeeshan Siddiqui, MLA and son of NCP Ajit Pawar leader Baba Siddiqui, who was shot dead on October 12. The police have taken Gafran Khan to Mumbai on a transit demand. Earlier, Mumbai police arrested Sheikh Hussain Sheikh Mohsin, the 24-year-old vegetable seller from Jamshedpur, over a threat message received by Mumbai Traffic Police's WhatsApp helpline. The threat message demanded Rs 5 crore as a ransom.